a lick of you, them, whatever them daddy do, whatever cartel do that a cartel business. Them, you a lick of you. When things happen, cartel, they are prison for years now. Did it occur to you that out of Jamaican artists, Massacre is the only one, other than Dexter Dabs, we put out an album in the last couple of years. We all eight song off of the album, boss. Brother, I remember myself. I said Popcorn put out an album where only for song with Big Panic too. But I try to show you. So I don't do it, do it don't three do. times. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a female entertainer who was recently hit in her face with a mic in Canada. A lot of women are supposed to see the video because the video actually went viral and thing. So she's now speaking out as it relates to that whole situation. So I'm going to give you no more information upon that. Her face really messed up, my people. Swell up, you understand? Also, we're going to talk about Bounty Killer reacting to Shaggy saying that Bounty deserves a national award for the amount of artists for Bounty Boss. Yes, it's a Bounty react to the post. And we're going to talk about that as well. Also, we're going to talk about Tony Mataran, who is saying once again that Massacre has more hit song than Popcorn. You see me? Even Chronicle and him get called. So, we're going to play the video with Tony Mataran attack and only can tell me if you don't agree. This is the second time he must say this, but you don't know this time, things kind of got a little bit more intense. You see it? Um, also, we're going to talk about a top producer named JB, who has been arrested and charged in Florida. So, may I give you some more information as it relates to what's going on, is it? Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel Sons, who is once again being warned to leave the country. And this person responded to a particular comment that was left on a video that he posted. Zane. Like the person that said, Vibes Cartel, take out somebody's son, son or nothing, if somebody take out Fim's son. You understand? I don't say, oh, some people pretty weird and wicked and evil, but the person put them in them place. I'm mean, going to actually play that video so you can see what's going on. Is it, my people? But before we go no further into the topics, don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and uh, make sure you turn the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when i post a new video first thing we're going to talk about is the girl diverse who is now speaking out and that female is the one who actually got hit in the face with a mic recently i know enough i want to see the video because the video actually went viral where the man grabbed the mic out her hand and it's like she bunks him off stage and him fling it on the kufa you see me people right now her eyes swell up i not lie she definitely for press charges as it relates to the this whole situation but anyway people let me get to the article now so i understand what's going on all right so this is what the article is saying mystery dj burst female artist face with mike diverse the up-and-coming female artist who was with a microphone at a show in toronto canada said she will not allow the sordid incident to discourage her from performing on stage shows i'm prepared to go back to any stage that doesn't change my love for performing she told the star yesterday a video circulating on social media shows diverse a canadian being hit with a microphone which was flung at her by a male dj the incident appeared to have been triggered after diverse while on the stage pushed the male artist who was bulldozing his way past her and in doing so shoved her out of his path jolted by the push from the artist the male who nearly lost his balance spun around and flung the mic at her it not only connected but missile caused a wound that bled i didn't even realize i got hit until i saw blood falling from my face and went to seek medical attention divers told the star recalling the moment leading up to the throwing of the mic diver said she felt the person ring the microphone out of my hand i was like hey are you really going to take the mic from a woman and him start say him not take no styling but it ended up being a double diss after he walked away he came back in my direction and shoved me that's when i push him diverse added the identity of the mic thrower has not been ascertained following the incident wagging tongues that a high-flying jamaican dj was the culprit however this was quickly denied by the entertainers camp the concert organizers and the victim michael collins ceo of byb entertainment group said the incident has nothing to do with the entertainer who has been widely accused. Similarly, Diver said she has no idea who hit her. Neither of us know who that DJ is. The only thing I know is that he has a good aim, she told the star. So people, 
I'm not going to read out the full article, Zane, but she basically has said that now stop her from go up on stage shows and do her thing, you see me? So, you don't know. Big R up the same way. Never rate where the youth do. You understand? And really and truly, I am wrong, no matter how you look on it, because I am take the mic out her and, and not because she's a female, you feel like you can just go there and just do that to her. You're weak, brother. You see it. Honestly, you're weak for do something like that to a woman. I'm not business, you see it. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel Sons, Little Addy and Little Vibes in who is being warned again, my people. Yesterday, my player, it was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, my, my player video with Queen Africa say, Yo, you know, shot if you try to get them out and thing. Well, right now, there's a guy on TikTok who recently sent a message to them, but somebody left a comment on his video saying that Cartel take out somebody, Zin. Them not say allegedly, you know, them say Cartel K I L L someone. So, if somebody go for theme son and a nothing and the person actually respond, the guy respond and put that person in a them place because the man has say, yo, cartel sons, them not have nothing to do with nothing that allegedly took place or that took place if you know what I call it. That you understand, people? So, listen what you have to say and you can tell me if you not agree or not in the comment section, is it? Yes, my people. Me have a comment to me want to reply to. And in case Vibes Cartel never get the memo, me hope him get the memo now and realize how oh, some of us Jamaican really pray. Vibes Cartel, if you never see the video I me do yesterday, I hope somebody send you that one here and make your sister the way all oh, me and meds. And I tell you, if you get your youth them out of the country, you need to do it because everybody now see in the eyes of some people in Jamaica. If you say them are youth, and them deserve a chance. And whatever one prior to when them a little youth, them now have nothing to do with it. And for them road is a different road for Chad. Listen to the comment here. Where it would come from? Kings of Kings 140. Vibes Cartel one child. So if that happened to his child, why are you mad? You know, hear them something here where you come from, people. A little you them, whatever them daddy do, whatever cartel do that a cartel business. Them ya a little youth. When things happen cartel, they are prison for years now. Them ya a little youth. But you see, us Jamaicans we always a ball every day talk about crime and violence. And all them want this for stop and that for stop. A we help tie up the youth them in the system. We see them one Jamaican help tie up the youth them in the system. We make the youth them turn monsters. Because instead of now, we look for a way to remove the youth them from the toxic environment. And make them in a better man and woman in a society. Today, we don't want the same thing reach them like we reach them four parents in the past. How we reach them mother, how we reach them father. First of all, we don't pay no better way for the youth them. So how we don't expect a country to be better? How we don't expect things to get better? Here we all this is mad you want to reach the youth them. Two little innocent youth. We can change the part and make a big difference. Instead, you want whatever them say cartel do. Happen to fame you them. Who never involved in a nothing. We don't know nothing about what go on. Remember you know, man. We don't hear me talk about the system you know. Me don't want some people just feel like the government me a talk about, you know. Me a talk about we the people them too. Because a we help farm that toxic system there. We make the youth them can't survive. We make the youth them can't cope. We make the, make the system get to the youth them head and make them snap. We make them egg chip. We make them do something where them never even thought them could have went do. Or imagine say them could have went do. We as Jamaican are part of that system there to believe. All right, my people. So after listening to what this man is saying, Zane, I want to tell me if you agree or not. And at the end of the day, just like what Sizzler say, the babies are innocent, the kids are innocent. Yes, my people, definitely. Now, although them have a saying, you know, when I what? Jump on head, jump on shoulder, something like that. But some of them sayings, they may not really agree with because if kids not do nothing, then them innocent. You understand? That's how I look upon it. So you have some weird people out there and me go just leave it. They say, is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section now we're going to talk about Tony Mataran who was recently on Instagram live Zane, and the topic came up once again because remember this is the second time Tony Mataran has said massacre 
have more hit song than popcorn. Now, people, before I play the live, Zane and this conversation was between Tony Mataran and Noah Power. Zane is like, Noah Power said, No, um, popcorn have more hits and whatever, whatever. Remember, you know, my people, the conversation is not about who is more popular, the conversation is about who have more hit song. Zane and even Chronicler name got called because guess what? Um, according to Noah, Chronicler have more songs than Massacre, but that don't mean him have more hit songs than Massacre. You understand? I want to know what Chronicler, when it comes to song, them man they <laughs> flood the street with songs. You understand, people? But before I play the live, who have more hit songs? Popcorn or Massacre? Big up to the two artists, them, because you know, see them do it for dance hall. So you don't know, sometimes them comparison here is not needed, but it was one that is there. So we are talking about it. Listen this, my people. We're going to determine which one is a hit. We're going to talk a, a song where selector and I talk. Mataran. If you, if you, if a, if a, brother, me can tell you this right now, Mataran. If a song with the selector for play popcorn of more, brother, I'm not. That's why you think. That's why you artist. thought. Mastercard All right. Artist, but right is right. Listen brother. me. Listen me. Noah, remember my you see, sister put out a album in the pandemic. Some and I hear the fans song for that. So, hold on. Some of the fans Instagram. I want to listen to it. Can Noah, what it. time we you You're a fan. Like, you hold on. You are no, a fan of an artist that doesn't make whatever Mataran is saying is right. And the, no disrespect that, to nobody can we rate my that it's just doesn't like mean what, say. what you no. are saying is right. So Noah, guess what? We are trying to find out. Remember, it's a debate, you know, it's not an argument. That's why people are commenting. So we can go live and we can play the songs them and we determine uh, if that was a hit you are, or you're so boy, hang up. Let me say one thing to you. I may show you something. I show you the big difference. You know, you know Chronicle have more song than Massacre, but Massacre have more bigger song than Mas um, um, Chronicle. Yeah, can Chronicle have voice every minute, you know? Thank you very much. But look on this. Now, but I'm going to tell you something before you go. You can tell us something before you go. Now, before you go. Tell him, look why. Massacre, Chronicle. Chronicle have more song than Massacre. Yeah, but look on this now. Who have bigger song? Massacre. All right, Noah. Don't Noah, before you, you go, before you go, did it occur to you that out at Jamaican artists. Massacre is the only one, other than Dexter Dabs, we put out an album in the last couple of years. We all eight songs off of the album, boss. Brother, I remember say Pop can put out an album where only if I sang the big panic too. But me, me I try to show you. So no, Massacre no, do it no, three no, times. No, three brother, albums you see, we put out you see, and most of the songs. You know why I'm still apart from them conversation, yeah? Because artists is very sensitive and emotional. Yeah, but Oh, we they don't want to hear the truth. Them can't no, lick me down with my mouth. Nobody no, can't lick me down with my mouth. You're a man, you, you're not you, you know, give a fuck. Me, me no, no, no enemy. In no, me no, me. listen to me. Noah, it now I'm not going to do with enemy, but we're going to find the truth, right? We're going to play them. What's and around? Versus you're not going to win, brother. You're not going to win, brother. Let's do a versus, Noah. Let's do a versus. And we just play. Remember, man of me and Noah, an artist we are playing. We love the two of them. We play the two of them. Oh, we're going to find out which one have more hits. We're going to play them blood clot. And we're going to play the one that we know are hits. Yeah, we're going to say them, And we're going to find out who win. Mataran, get your laptop later, brother. That's all we have to do. We're not going to argue with you no more, Mataran. Because you're, you're not but making remember, sense, brother. Here are the rules. If it's a hit, it have to be a song. No. Me, no, 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 no. You see, you see, if I just say you go with it, you're going to lose that game. Because the end of Listen the day, the man in that interview did say that to you. The man we said, know. if you go certain place, a man going to know popcorn more. Because, because as an artist, but they know the song. A, Remember, a, them know Massacre song as a place artist. where Massacre going to be. Masika, you know, brother. Yeah, Masika, but yeah. we are talking about, we are talking about it in the dance hall. We're selecting with a place. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say it right now. Most of the song they went here and said, big for Massacre. You can't go and Bahamas go play them, brother. No disrespect to Massacre. Or you can play the popular, the popular covers. <laughs> yeah, then that's why I'm telling you, say, for the international <laughs> scale. No, that, that's why, Noah, 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 you hear what I say? What I say? No, what's no, right? I say, on an international stand. scale, but this clash is bigger. This is not a it. clash. We are the clash. local dancers. Our oh, local that, dancers. Yeah. That's what I say. All right. Noah, you see where you just do? You do the same thing where the youth do. And that him did a differentiate me. I tell him, say, on an international scale, popcorn is bigger. 
and have more hits. And the local dance hall still, we are talking our local dance hall where we consider dance hall. Massacre have more hits than him. And I don't you know know want your late for parents' teachers' meeting because I'm proud of you as a dad that's going to yeah. parents' teachers' meeting, you know, because we need more fathers like this. So I'm please, tell uh, I'm go telling to you, parents' teachers' meeting. Noah, you're going to lose. Anyway, go tell the people them about my new song where I come out Friday. All right, out of Noah, matter, and who have more hits? All right, my people. So as I say, we're anything about a conversation here. Who have more hit song, Massacre or Popcorn? You understand what I mean? So, um, two of them are good artists. I'm not going around you. Is it um, boy or oh boy? The conversation here, one, we probably can go on and on forever because you don't know, you know, but some people might say, all right, Popcorn are bigger artists. Zine, that was some people that say, so they would automatically say Popcorn have more hit song. I don't know, people. One of those tell me anything about this in the comment section, you understand? And with that being said, I'm going to move on to the next topic now, which is dancehall artist Bounty Killer reacting to Shaggy, saying that Bounty deserves a national award because you don't know Bounty Boss. A lot of artists in the business, you understand what I'm saying? And Bounty himself do a lot of things for the dancehall culture, different Differently from those busing artists. You understand me and some people. Man been in the game for a while and still managed to remain relevant. You understand he might not be the artist artist now, but him still remain relevant. Bunty name can call for any single stage show. Still can go to go perform and shut it down and all of that. You understand? So Bounty basically reposted the article which says Shaggy says Bounty Killer deserves national award for busing many dancehall artists. And Bounty say in the caption, the work speak for itself. They can't go around greatness. So Bounty I make you know say theme greatness, you can't go around it. You understand me some people and I think Bounty himself, not even think, me know Bounty himself agree with that statement saying definitely deserve to get a national award. You see my people. So let me know if you not agree with that statement coming from Shaggy. And you know Shaggy are one of our biggest dancehall artists of all time. So that is something you know Bounty definitely appreciates as well anyway people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is a popular producer who has been arrested in um florida you understand me i say arrested and charged me should i say so let me get into this story right about now producer go by the name of jb is it anyway it's a producer jermaine baker charged for sex ual battery of a minor in florida jamaican recording producer jermaine baker who is also an artist under the stage name jb the artist was charged with four counts of sex ual battery and two counts of molestation of a youngin in his care in the United States. Baker, who is the principal of JB Productions, is currently listed as an inmate at the Bay County Sheriff's Office in Florida, where he's being held without bond for missing a recent court appearance on the six charges. On April 20, 2023, he was arrested for failure to appear reportedly after his recent birthday party in Panama City, Florida, which featured dancehall artists such as Squash and Jay Blem. In early 2020, Baker was charged with four counts of SC XUAL battery upon a child 12 years or older but under 18 years of age by a person in familial or custodial authority. The minor was 14 old, 14 years old, my bad, at the time of the alleged situation. In Florida, the penalty penalties for the charges, including a fine up to 30 years in prison, are both. After his first court appearance in late January 2020, Baker was granted a $200,000 bond on the charges and released on the condition that he surrendered his passport and refrain from contact with the victim. The judge also ordered that Baker shall not be alone with persons under 18 without another adult present. Baker is known for producing several singles for Vibes Cartel including Run Dancehall with Lisa Mercedes, Club Rave, No Regret, Moneybag and Certified Money Boy. Baker also produced Nuffman, Name and Spice sophomore album Emancipated. He recently released his onstage reading which featured Tashina music, so Spence and Jay Blem, alongside heavyweight stars such as Movado, Vibes Cartel, and Tommy Lee Sparta. His recent releases, including Squash Who Cares and his own song Stop Freak, Too Much, Money Run, and Both. Baker grew up in Alman Town and the Clones District in Manchester and attended Kingston High School before he migrated to the U.S. in 2003. He returns to Jamaica several times a year to record and produce songs. So yes, my people, very sticky situation, and of course, 
course, if the producer is guilty, with the, I notice me say if we not nah support them thing here, you see me? We not support them type of thing here. But I didn't know, see, I don't know, man. I couldn't know what's going on, is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.